goes. What have we bought this time? Rio. <laughs> so it's a M38 Rio. Uh, they call it a deuce and a half. It's the Americans, anyway. And it's what the military boys call fully dressed. So it's got lots of kit, axes, kit, um, ladders. There's a pew pew up top. Um, we won't show that with the cover off because YouTube demonetizes. Well, it's, only a, it's only a reference. I don't think YouTube likes pew they pews. Don't like a... Shh. <laughs> they don't like brownies. <laughs> But yeah, so this is the latest uh, latest toy to the fleet. Um, the 432 is gone, hasn't it now? Yeah, it's sold. Um, the Centurion is now a runner. This is a new project. But this runs, drives, just tidying, having a day tidying up now, get it washed off. And we are taking this, the Stalwart, the Centurion, and... Possibly other stuff we haven't quite decided yet. To, what's the show called? Tanks, tanks, trucks, and firepower at rugby, don't you? Yeah, so tanks, trucks, and firepower. If, goes to plan. if everything goes to plan. But yeah, so if you want to come down and meet us, we'll be there. I'll show you inside this thing. So it's a multi fuel engine, supposedly. I think it does run best on diesel. It's quite a nice, comfy cab, to be fair, isn't it? It's not. Uh, Yeah, so it's not a great view at the minute. Soft top as well, so all being well, we'll have the roof off on the way to rugby. There's so inside this bit is Joe's new little house. Who'd want a house when you've got a fucking so a show video. show camping space? Carpeted as well, even lights in there. Hippies use back door. I don't know if that's referring to the back door of the um, of the truck or just the fact that we don't want them to procreate when they're having fun. But yeah, so we'll get this washed off now and then uh, I think we'll go for a little drive and see what it's like. lesson on the uh, on the old beast. It's not quite an interesting gear selection, isn't it? So reverse is where first would be, then first behind it, second, third. It's dog leg. 
but then you have to go yeah, over the fort. Yeah. Which can catch you out. <laughs> can see from that little bit of fun we've just had for once we've got a vehicle that's running a vehicle that actually works it runs drives there's not a lot i think joe's put a new windscreen in it because that was cracked it came with it it came with it, it came with it and the uh left hand and um wiper blade was stuck other than that <laughs> nothing else so it does want some axle seals which we're going to get done but as we said we're going to take this to tanks trucks and firepower taking the centurion hopefully we are 90 percent certain that transport's sorted for that um the stalwart hopefully we'll probably trailer that there because the diffs on it are a bit temperamental um but yeah we if anyone wants to come say hello we'll be at tanks trucks and firepower um and yeah we'll uh, we'll see you all there but we'll do some more videos on this we're hopefully going to convoy down there so we'll get some footage of that um but yeah this one is so what's going to be happening in the next few weeks is um, a lot of the stuff you see us working on is going to be coming up for sale. And that's not because we're giving up, it's because we want to buy more stuff. So keep an eye out. Stuff will be appearing on eBay and the usual places on Facebook. But this one I don't think will be getting sold. I think this is going to be uh, what we take to shows to sort of advertise uh, what we're doing, which will be more military service stuff. So if anyone has military vehicles they want work doing to, mm, we're... Yeah, I'm keen for that. And also, if you know anyone who's got something like this sat in the back of a shed... In any condition. In any condition. We have cash, we have trailers, we have a man with a lorry who will come and fetch stuff for us. Let us know. Have a, let's have a quick drive in this thing and, uh, and see what she's like. So I think that goes there and we take it out of gear. Oh, we go for a drive. Now it's a dog leg gearbox. So it's first, second, third, and then fourth for some reason he's over here by Joe's kneecap, so you have to fondle him. Yeah, very unusual uh, gear setup. Don't know how the windscreen wipers work. If anyone knows how to make these work, like not on the manual, we'd be quite glad to know it. Uh, we'll take a 
for a quick spin. gave us TKs and the Americans got these. We got fucking robbed. It's not often I say that the Americans did something better than the British, because there's not much. This. Probably the best of this sort of type of truck I've ever driven. Right, so speaking of stuff that's for sale, we've got this little beauty. So it's a 57 plate Pinsgauer. Doesn't come with Ted, he's not for sale. 6x6, uh, Swedish built, are they, I believe? I think so. We don't know that much about them. But Joe's fixed this one, got it running, and the chap who owns it has asked for it to be sold on his behalf. So, anyone who's interested, is it what price is it up for? Uh, 17. 17,000, um, running, driving, tested, of MOT. ready to go, all dressed up ready to take to a show as it is we'll give it a quick drive around in a minute because i've never driven a pins you get all your friends in the back bloody hell it is tidy this thing yeah oh it's immaculate so i've never been in this but geez it is very we'll take it for drive yeah camping stove up there <laughs> or is that oxius ox burning tackle oh, that is for his military muckabouts um machine gun oh nice so that's gas firing 
that isn't included because oh, he's so keeping that for his next toy so that's not included but everything else you see all these seats with the cool restraints so the roofs open up and then on the top you've got your uh, machine gun mounts with the ammo bins very nice so these seats keep your friends safe in a rollover quite good for bondage anything like that just a very it's nice fitters fan, wouldn't it? Full box at the back, double doors. Yeah, it's ideal for. So, I'd see it would be good. Bar, you can think of all this. So it's interior, everything labelled up quite nicely in here to help idiots like us. So we'll get it fired up. We'll get it pulled out of here. We'll go for a quick drive round in it and uh, see what it drives like. I'll give you. I've never driven this before, so I'll be able to give you a proper review of what it's like to like to drive. Oh, Ted's joined us. Get in there, you... Right, stop being a dick. Get in. Right, back shortly. It's automatic, I'm guessing. Yeah, but someone's got to sit with it. Someone's got to what? Sit with it. Sit with what? Well, it's automatic, but you've got to sit there and drive it. All oh, right. That's a bit right. How hard can it be? On the button. So we haven't we haven't driven this today. That is literally how good it is. It's basically a Range Rover, isn't really. it? It's got Land Rover mirrors. It's a lot fucking useless. They're Defender mirrors, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, there's a handbrake, isn't there? No, it's not on. I took it off. So it is effectively just like driving a car. Just that's covered in uh, bulletproof glass. Bulletproof glass, riot guards. It's got aircon. It's got, has it? Yeah. Jesus. So this is how the. That is comfy. Well, it's just had a, a, all the tracking done. Um, you found somewhere with a six wheel alignment tool. I didn't, but <laughs> had it done. Then again, I suppose it's just same, um, just an extra two on the back, isn't it? This is a comfy thing to drive. So I'm sure someone will tell us if we're wrong, but we do think it's Swedish made. I'm sure it was Swedish, but to me this is the ideal base for a camper. Well, if you were going to go overlanding, take all these guards off, maybe keep them if you're going to Somalia. But it drives just like a car. Like anyone could drive this, I'd say, with half a brain. But so we're doing 30 mile an hour across a field, and it's just almost as effortless as the Rio. Well, I do think the Rio's better, but I like old stuff. Women, trucks, so much better. And look at that, your dog can lay down next to you. <laughs> So yeah, if you're interested in this, put a comment down below, let us know. And yeah, we'll be, we want, we're not taking this to tank trucks and firepower, but we can arrange for a viewing. Um, serious buyers only, please don't get in contact if you're not actually interested in buying. But yeah, if you want to come down and have a, have a go with it, let us know. But I would say this is ready to go, isn't it? Yeah. It drives as it should. Yeah, you couldn't ask for a more user-friendly to drive military vehicle. The only downside I'd say is that the windows don't roll down. <laughs> Taliban Ted. So while Joe's tidy up his tools, this is the other barn find, which is a Land Rover 101 ambulance. And someone has took the time to strip off all the horrible army paint they've actually done that with a heat gun and razor blade so it's not scratched up to buggery like a lot are when they do them so it will take paint and look very nice or we are quite tempted to just paint the steel black and just lacquer it as it is and leave it um leave it silver it's just a bit different but this is another vehicle um joe's got it running now um with no new parts just what was in it the original V8 and this is another one that we're going to get tidied up um, got a little bit of welding to do on it there's like a A pillar here which we're going to cut out and weld in clutch to bleed up 
and this should be a runner and driver in the next few days so this one will be for sale as well um we're gonna offer a few options on this so if anyone's interested it can either come just as a runner um it can come all painted up ready to go we can even do a camper conversion on the back for you if that's what you wanted all various prices so as a runner just tidied up running driving stopping running as it should we'll be looking around the 12 to 14 thousand pound mark for it um painted up probably another thousand on top of that if you wanted it as a camper and ready to go as an expedition vehicle we can do all that but uh, prices to be discussed sort of thing but at the minute i can't get in because the door's on the wrong side and it's one way glass so i can't show you inside no it is just standard ambulance in the back but yeah just to keep you in the loop what we're getting on with ted has got not a flare oh no it's uh, just a brush it's fine so yeah we'll uh, we'll keep some updates coming on this as well if people are interested um this one won't be at the show at the weekend but it probably will be at some other show later in the year just because it's quite an easy one we can drive it there so yeah we'll uh, we'll move on to something else so there's the pins ted in his new outfit and the progress on the stalwart so joe's um sandblasted it off it got the front end painted up and the wheels and then it rained so before tanks and trucks got the back wheels to do and some other bits and it does want some bits of welding as well that we've now found but that's coming up shortly but yeah we are hoping to have the stalwart tanks trucks and firepower along with the rio we would take the pins but we've got no one to drive it there so it probably won't be coming unless the stalwart lets us down in which case the pins may go in its place but both of these are for sale the stalwart will be for sale as well once we've finished painting it um i'm not sure on the price on that yet i'll uh, i'll put that up when we do a proper video on it so once we've got it painted we'll do a proper video like we have done the the rio and uh, let you know the price in that sort of thing what we what we're looking for but yeah so that's where we're up to so we're going to call it today now i'm going home and getting something to eat but if you want to come meet us and have a look around the vehicles we will be at the show this weekend um hopefully like i said taking the stalwart taking the centurion um and yeah we might take something else as well we'll see uh a week's a long time in our world isn't it there could be another six vehicles arrive but for now i'll see thee i'll see thee <laughs>